When I was a kid growing up in the early 90s, Lego was a big part of my life. Like pretty much every kid, I had a lot of time on my hands, and I would use that time by taking my box of Legos, back when it was okay to call them Legos, and I would dump that out on the floor in a giant pile, and I would spend hours every day building all kinds of fun stuff out of the pieces that I had in my collection. It wasn't about going out and get the newest and biggest thing, because my parents didn't have the money for that, so I made do with what I had. Part of that collection that was kind of missing, though, was Lego Technic. I didn't really have much of a Technic collection growing up. In fact, here is my childhood Lego collection. It consists of exactly two sets, both of which I should probably build here one of these days. But today is not for that. Today is for another Technic set that I started a little while ago, and it's this one right here. This is 42107, the Ducati Penningale V4R, an absolute gorgeous, motorcycle and I want to finish this set today as you can see I've got uh, most of it built here but what I want to say about Lego Technic as an adult now that I've kind of, kind of gotten into it because I don't think this made me a Lego Technic aficionado and I don't think I'm that yet but for me as an adult I find the act of building Lego Technic to be very therapeutic. I love Lego Technic vehicles I build a good collection of them and what I love about it is that when you're building it, you pretty much have to be right in the moment as you're building. It can't be one of those things where you're kind of doing a bunch of different stuff, and I've done lots of that in the past with building, and you find that you made a mistake. In like Lego Creator, that's fine. You can just pull some pieces off or add that piece on. Lego Technic, whole new situation because sometimes you can't fix it, and sometimes it's very hard to go back in time. So I find myself having to concentrate on the build, and oftentimes what I'll do is I'll be listening to a podcast, and I'm just like in the moment building and enjoying the experience, like fully there. And that is why I love Lego Technic, and that's why we're gonna finish this motorcycle today. As I mentioned, I got a pretty good start in this. I was working on this before we went on our trip a little bit here and there, and these are all of the pieces that are left, but I thought I'd capture this before I got it done just so I could share the last little bit with you. So far, so good. I love this thing. It is an absolute beauty, as I may or may not have mentioned. I have built one other Lego motorcycle before, and it's this one right here, and I noticed as I brought this over here, there's a little bit of a spider living on it, so don't mind him. This is his habitat now, uh, but this was the BMW Motorcycle. I actually found another one of these at a yard sale and I sent it to my buddy Brad. There goes our spider friend. Thank you for being in my Lego video. But this one looks good, right? He just yeeted off of the table entirely. This one looks good, but compared to this, and this isn't done yet, it actually has like a little stand back there. My gosh, I think I might be replacing my favorite Lego motorcycle with this one. This is all I've got left. Just that little front piece there that goes over the, the handlebars. I know that has a motorcycle term. Someone help me out here. I need you guys with me. Uh, we've got a couple stickers left to put on, but that's pretty much it. What do we go up to here? 208, not bad. And don't look at that. You won't have a reason to watch this video. Let's finish this baby up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done and maybe convince you that you need to enter the world of Lego Technic. Last little slide over there and our front assembly is finished. This is interesting because this is the first time I've ever had a plastic piece like this. The whole thing's made of plastic, but a, like a flexible plastic windshield that's on here. There is the speedometer and the instrument cluster there and the last few other stickers that I had to put on as well. But I did save the last step for you because I know how satisfying it can be to finish a Lego set and I thought we would do that together. I don't know if there's a good angle to show this at, but we'll do the best that we can. And there it is, fully completed Ducati. I'm not much of a Lego reviewer, but I need to find some way to describe this other than gorgeous and beautiful. If you have any ideas for adjectives, throw them out there. This base actually comes off. The reason they have that there is because obviously you can't really just set this down, otherwise it's gonna fall over. But there is suspension in the back. You may have noticed that giant spring there. I think that's neat. There's also suspension in the front too. If I move the wheel like this, as though it's driving somewhere, if you look down inside of that engine, you see the cylinder going up and down there? It's fully functional. So all these gears and all the stuff that's inside here, they all work. And there's a transmission over here, so that's neutral. And if I do that, you see how that cylinder's not moving at all? Then there's another speed here. And this one is, geez, I don't know if that's easier or harder to move. There's like two different speeds to this. Motorcycle people are gonna destroy me on this video, but. I know I just love building Lego. I don't know much about motorcycles. Little cheating here shows that uh, first gear is at the bottom, neutral in the middle, 
second gear at the top, got it. Instead of doing this in the air, let's do it out here on my table and that's neutral, so nothing's moving. And then that is first gear, like that. And then second gear at the top. Very cool. I like this side of it because it has the chain and everything, and then that's where the, the shifter is too. But if you look at this side, you can see some of the inner workings of that. So that's neutral, that is first gear, and then that's second gear up there. And those things are all moving. There's rubber bands in there. It's interesting to see how they were able to make this work. You got the steering, that actually works. Definitely useful on a motorcycle, I would imagine. Other things about this bike. If you have an aversion to stickers, this did have a decent sized sheet of them for a 646 piece set but they do add some nice detail to this. You could not put those on if you wanted to. I don't think you'd be really losing a lot by not having those, but it looks good. I like the exhaust on the side there. Speaking of that, I wanted to show you the last few pages of this manual. This is where they show the bike kind of getting broken apart so you can see the inner workings that I tried somewhat to show you there. This next page though, this is what I want to show you. This of course is what you've been looking at this entire video. And then this is the real life version of it. So if we kind of come out here, you can see how good or bad of a job, in your opinion, that the LEGO designers did. I think it looks pretty close. I certainly couldn't design anything better. If I had to criticize it though in any place, I would probably say that front area, the part that I built today, not quite what they're showing over here. I think that could have been a little bit bigger. It feels like something fell off of it a little bit to me. Also the seat area too. There's the, the seat that you would ride on real life. Here's the seat. Probably not something you'd actually want to ride on, but I think a bigger offender is that front area. The sides though, they look pretty good and the, like the scale and everything of this, I think looks fantastic. So I'm pretty darn happy with it. This is by far the best motorcycle that I've built. Again, the spider infested BMW doesn't really hold a candle to this one. And I thought it was a pretty good value in the world of Technic. Speaking of world of Technic, if you want to see more sets, Check out all these bad boys here. This is, here's a great starter set. Get a little tractor. Clark and I have that. I enjoyed building that set. But you can get a drag racer and all kinds of stuff if you, if you need something like this in your life. Thank you for tuning in to the conclusion of me finishing my Lego Ducati, which will be proudly displayed here in the Brick Tech studio. And also thank you for tuning into my story on why I love Lego Technic. Again, I advise you, if you're looking for something that's somewhat therapeutic, at least in my experience, Lego Technic could be that thing for you or, it could be one of the most stressful things you've ever done in your life. I'm not quite sure, but find yourself a, a little Technic set and see if you like it and then work your way up. And eventually you'll be building stuff like this and then one day you'll be building a Bugatti. And you're going to be very careful while you do it. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a glorious rest of your day and we'll see you in the next Technic video.